right, in a triangle, one angle measures twice the measure of the smallest angle, and another angle measures 32 degrees more than the smallest angle. We want to state the measures of the angles. All right, so remember in a triangle, the angles add up to 180 degrees. The measures in degrees of three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. All right, so we don't know what any of the angles are, but we're going to define them using variables. So we have the smallest one. Let's call the first one the smallest one. You might write smallest instead of first, but how about I just call that x? So it says one of the other angles is twice the measure of the smallest angle. So if the smallest one x is x, then the another one must be 2x. And then it says another angle measures 32 degrees more than the smallest angle. So again, the smallest angle we called x, so the third angle must be x plus 32. Now it's really 32 degrees, but I'm just going to leave that as 32 for now. And we know that the sum is 180 degrees. So you could do it like this, the first angle plus the second angle plus the third angle equals 180. A lot of people forget to write the x and just write 2x plus x plus 32. Or I could add down here, and let's see, I'm going to take off that degrees, and at the end we'll remember we're talking about degrees. Or you could add it right here, the three angles, since I lined up the x's, I could say 4x plus 32 equals 180, which is what I would get here x plus 2x plus x plus 32, so the coefficients of x are 1, 2, and 1, that's 4x plus 32 equals 180. So two ways to get that equation, 4x plus 32 equals 180. And now we're going to solve for x, so we need to subtract 32 from both sides, which will get us 148, and divide by 4, and I think that gives us 37. Okay, so if x is 37, remember that was the smallest angle, and then we had the second angle and the third angle. So what I'm going to do now is really write it in terms of degrees. Um, actually, I'm going to hold off on putting the degrees. Okay, so our second angle is 2x. So 2x would be 2 times 37 to 74. And the last one, x plus 32. Well, if x is 37, then 37 plus 32 is, looks like, 69. Okay. Now, what I mean is those are the measures of the degrees. So let's see if that makes sense. If one of them was 37 degrees and the other one was 74 degrees, and another one was 69 degrees. And if I add that up, the question is, does that add up to 180 degrees? So let's add them. 7 plus 4 plus 9 is going to be 20, so I'm going to carry the 2. And then we have 5 plus 7, 12 plus 6, 180 degrees. So it does check out. So now we go back up to the question. It says, state the measures of the angles. So it wants all three of them. So the answer to this would be the angles are, or the angles measure, really, 37 degrees, 74 degrees, and 69 degrees. Now, make sure that one really is twice as big as the other, and notice the small one's 37, and it said the one of the angles was twice that measure, so I see 37 times 2 really is 74. It also says that one of the angles is 32 degrees more than the smallest, and I can check that. Is 69, 32 more than 37? And yes, it is. And if I would have asked something different, like what's the smallest measure, that would be 37 degrees. If I asked what the largest measure of one of the angles was, it would be 74 degrees. So, of course, make sure you answer the question being asked.